Hello, it's Wednesday. I've had a relatively busy week this week. So, first up, I'm in the middle of painting this Goliath right now. Currently doing the metal. This is my test area. I think it's looking quite nice. You'll have to excuse the traffic noise, the window's open. <clears throat> so, uh, yes. This isn't another Fire Slayer situation. He's going to be done in a couple of days from now. And the video will be going up at the end of the week, probably. So, he's coming along quite nicely. And I did a bunch of airbrushing. Because I had the camera in the right place for airbrushing. So I was like, I'm just going to do a whole ton of airbrushing and record it. So... I did the base coats for the Flesh Hound and the rest of the Gorse Fiends who are around here somewhere. Where are they? There they are. So there's the chap himself. Um, so I've already recorded all of that. And I also did a few colours on the Escher that I will eventually paint for tutorial. Not actually using the airbrush for much here. It's just a zenithal highlight with the grey and doing a gradient on the hair and on the little poison blast cloud out there. And that's pretty much it. The rest of it's going to be brush painted because each area is too small. There's like no one area that's a large amount of colour that's going to be a thing. So I just, yeah, it was all going to, all going to be brush apart from that. And I only did this this way because I'm lazy. I can totally do it by hand, but I didn't. And while I had the airbrush set up, I was going to paint the fast riders, but I'm still trying to gap fill their shoulder pads. I gave it one go of PVA glue and it didn't come out great, so I'm going to use Milliput. But I also did some work on my Imperial Guard tanks. Got the whitewash on. Um, I need to put a bit more back on this because I took a little bit too much off. And that's the great thing about the washable white paint is that you can take it off and reapply it as much as you want and as long as you don't seal it it's fine like I could if we run this under the tap for long enough eventually it would all come off so yeah need to put some more back on this one but the other one that I did has come out pretty good again still feel like I need to put a little bit more back on uh, on here a bit more back on the turret around the sides mostly, not on the top surfaces, um, and yeah, bit of a back and forth on that, it just seems to have taken up a little bit too much of the whitewash in some places, but I was kind of rushing and was a bit impatient. And I also uh, primed slash base coated myself up some Death Watch Rhinos. Because my Death Watch Black is actually, um, the black part of it is my surface primer. And I mix that with Cantor Blue to make my Death Watch Black. So I can prime and base coat in one shot with the airbrush. So all the bits come off. I've got another one of these in the display case. But I just did these because I had the time. And this gradient on the side here is just because I didn't want to waste Death Watch Black mix. On the underside of the vehicle so I just did on my little turntable in my spray booth did uh, from above with death watch black and then I just turned it over and did underneath with regular old black primer and it's given it a nice kind of cool gradient on the side so that's that and on the back as well so that's what I've been painting um, I've been collecting bits for my Orc Kill Team, which I'll be painting for October. Uh, there's a poll on Patreon right now for what I should paint during October. So if you are a patron and you haven't voted yet, please go and vote. There are options for uh, boys and vehicles. And whichever vehicle and whichever boy wins that poll, I'll be doing a video on each of those. Currently, Evil Suns and Bad Moons are tied. And only Blood Axe has votes in the vehicle category. I'm not sure what to make of that, really. But I guess we're going to get some kind of camouflage buggy. 
which will be interesting. Um, anything else? No progress on the Leviathan this week. I was mostly focusing on getting uh, all these base coats with the airbrush done. Um, so what else have I been up to? Oh, the Red Grass Games wet palette. Uh, update. Dries out pretty damn quick, it turns out. It's not even particularly hot anymore. Um, the lid is not kind of remotely watertight compared to my Tupperware lid. This is not doing a great job of actually keeping the water in. This was basically had plenty of water in it yesterday and overnight it's almost all dried up and it turns out that the foam is not antifungal any more than any other type of foam is really um, because some mold started developing on one of my sheets only a small amount but it did happen so I've taken to keeping a piece of copper wire inside of my water tray because copper is anti-fungal anti, uh, and I don't know if it's really going to work but it doesn't hurt to have it there so when I fill it up the copper wire is in contact with the water in theory that's antifungal who knows if that's actually true or not um, I know copper, is, copper has antifungal uh, and antibacterial properties but I don't know if just having it in the water is going to be enough to actually make use of those um, that's pretty much it. It's not a long update. Um, I got some of this Winsor Newton Galleria matte medium, which, if I can get that screw top lid off. Yes, there we go. It looks like this. It's just white goo. Now, if you use Lamian medium, it's base, that's basically the same stuff. But this was seven ninety nine for two hundred and fifty milliliters, and Lamian medium is whatever the price of a paint pot is for about fifteen milliliters. Might even only be twelve, twelve milliliters. So you do the maths on that. Yeah, this is A, a huge saving, and B, better. Um, I've been using this to thin my paints to make glazes, and also just to make them a little go on a little bit smoother, and it's been excellent at both tasks. And because I've got so much of it, I'm not feeling uh, shy about using it, whereas I was sparing with Lamy and Medium, so. I kind of like screw lamming in medium. Just get yourself a big bottle of this. Put a blob on your wet palette and just use it when you need it. Uh, the paint goes really on really, really smooth with this stuff. It's um, much smoother than water. With water, the pigment can sometimes be a little bit bitty and you can kind of get tide marks. Not so with the matte medium. I was going to get some airbrush, some of their flow improver, but they'd sold out in the store I was in at the time. I might order some online, but again, yeah. This stuff is pretty good. I might do a full review on it later, but it's got my endorsement so far. Um, but then again, I've not encountered any of these gallery or acrylic products that I don't like because my go to matte va uh, satin varnish is that stuff. And I've got the uh, matte varnish as well in the smaller bottle. I don't use this as much as I use this. Um, they've got a uh, drying retarder as well, but I still have plenty of this left. I don't have a lot of brand loyalty, it's just this happens to be what the place near me stocks. Um, yeah, I'm still looking forward to October. I'm really looking forward to that Speed Freak set. I hope I can afford it when it comes out. Um, also, it's a full board. It's a full game, which means where I might actually play it. Um, do, 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 do. No, that's pretty much it. Lots of painting, lots of airbrushing, um, 
I even primed this bust that I've had sitting around. Someone sent me for Secret Santa last year. Finally got around to actually priming, cleaning and priming it. So I might paint that on and off. While I wait. The Fast Riders are currently just primed. Oh. Boom. Um, I'm going to be doing them after I've done this Goliath. I'm going to be moving up to the Fast Riders. And I, the Patreon winner of the vote for September was the Fast Riders and a Katachan kill team. However, I happen to know... I happen to know two of the people who voted for the Katachan kill team know me personally and did and voted for that just because I've been talking about painting a Katachan kill team recently. <laughs> and if it hadn't been for their votes, it wouldn't have won the second place. So... I feel perfectly fine in ignoring Katachan Kill Team as a result, and I will probably do Magor's Fiends as the second video, because they're already airbrush base coated up. So September, two Shades by videos, but also I'm kind of spurred on by Night Vault coming out. Um, I would like it if I had all of Season 1 painted and videos up for that before Night Vault comes out, but I suspect that won't be the case because after Fast Riders and Magors I've got the, fi the Fire Slayers to paint, um, who are a completely new set of Fire Slayers because I broke the old ones and then threw them away. Um, and I'm more confident about painting them since I've been doing test models for the Goliaths, but who knows what will happen, they're the Fire Slayers. They've got a notorious history on this channel. Um, also, I've got a suspicion that Night Vault will go up for pre-order at the end of this month. Or, if not the end of this month, then very soon in, like, just probably, it might go up to the middle of October, which would be exactly a year after uh, Shadespire came out. And I don't think I will have everything painted by then. So that will be interesting. Also, if it comes out in October, I'm going to have to be going, I can only afford Speed Freaks or Night Vault. Now, I'm pretty sure that most people who are subscribed to the channel will wait for me to paint the models in Night Vault. But I would like to have some Night Vault content ready for a couple of weeks after it comes out. Um, without Games Workshop sending me an early copy. I'm not going to ever have anything ready the week it comes out. It just takes me too long to paint something. Oh yeah, I have 10,000 subs. Um, that's surprising because when I started this channel, no one, no one subscribed to it, which is true of all channels, I guess. But it looked like no one was going to be interested in what I was painting until I painted Shadespire stuff, and then everyone was like, "Oh my god, Shadespire!" Um, so yeah, I have 10,000 subscribers. Someone asked me to do a giveaway, and I'm not going to do that because I want I want to keep my stuff. <laughs> if any company out there wants to send me stuff to give away on the channel, I'll happily do that. But unless someone's paying me a commission for my models, I'm keeping them, thanks. I painted them so I could play with them. That's why I have this channel is... I paint these models so that I can play with them, and I make videos of them at the same time. Um, I don't make, I don't run this channel so that I can make a living off it or anything like that, because that would be impossible. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone that has a painting channel on YouTube has a full time job that they do as well. Maybe Sarastro doesn't. Um, but I think he does. I think he's a musician. I'm not sure. But, yeah, pretty much everyone who does painting channels has a full-time job and does this as a hobby. So, yeah, it's, it's not a thing you can make a living at. And I don't intend to. I would like to be able to spend all of my time painting, but I also like doing my job. So, eh. So I'm not doing a 10,000 subscribers giveaway um, because I want to keep all my models. If I find some models that I don't want to keep, there will probably just be some of the one-offs like the Custodes guy or the Nighthaunt Cairnwraith. 
I might, I might do a giveaway of those. Keep an eye on this channel. If there is going to be one, I'll announce it. And it'll probably be one of those two models, or you'll get to pick. But, uh, yeah, I have no plans on doing that yet. Sorry to disappoint you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. What are you looking forward to? Of the upcoming releases, of which there are many. You're looking forward to Speed Freaks? You're looking forward to Night Vault? If you're on this channel, you're probably looking forward to Night Vault. Um, I'm looking forward to the inevitable Moon Clan warband because Grot's a big troll and a bat squig. That will be fun. That will be a lot of fun. It'll be very weird to paint. I don't know how I'm going to do that video. It might have to be in like four parts because there's so many different models in it. In the same way that Magor's Fiend is probably going to be in two parts because the armoured guys and this chappy. So, yes, comment below with what you're most looking forward to and some other things. I'm supposed to get you to engage with the videos. Press the like button, do that, subscribe to the channel. But to be honest, pretty much only subscribers watch these videos anyway. So you're probably already subscribed, in which case, thank you, you're one of the 10,000. If you want a Death Watch vehicle tutorial, you best get on Patreon and vote for it next month. Um, I've still got one Rhino left that's uh, ready to go, just in case a Death Watch tutorial needs doing. But I've certainly got more than enough transport to transport all of my painted infantry. I'm going to need to paint some more. Ramble over. Bye bye. Subscribe there. Patreon there. Social media is there. And that's it. Bye.